hi I'd like to um, say hi to you from self isolation up here at the um, Elisa Anthony studio and gallery uh, this is a new painting that I'm working on I just started this two days ago and seeing as I'm home here <laughs> so much I've gotten quite a bit of it done um, we are the sky is almost finished I've used uh, brilliant turquoise or radiant turquoise which is a, <clears throat> a color by Lucas uh, of course diazonine purple cobalt blue and ultra ultramarine blue and so I've used a radiant pattern and the perspective point is just in the almost in the middle of the page a little bit off to the side in the trees you can't see it anymore because I have <clears throat> put the tr the trees in now I just have one little corner up there to finish it was going to be trees but I think I'll just make it sky <clears throat> now the underpainting for the sky and the water was purple and it was also radiating out from the from its source so that I could get a good idea of what it was going to look like as a finished composition the trees of course are my favorite blend of colors um, ultramarine blue sap green sap green mixed with um, uh, cadmium yellow medium hue uh, you can see up here especially the the um, two different colors playing against each other now in the um, trees that are a little bit closer to me I have used um, some phthalo green mixed with yellows um, also mixed with sap green um, they're closer to us so I think they should be a little bit more vibrant I have used also the Venetian red which is one of my favorite colors you can see it in the waterfall and you can see it on the um, little cliff on the edge of the perspective there uh, now I've done something different on this I seem to be into this gold phase right now and uh, I have mixed Naples yellow in the sky with gold and for the uh, the, the beach in front I have mixed um, I think that's bur burnt umber with gold and a little bit of Naples yellow and then I've made gradients of that color for in there uh, the, tr the driftwood is of course burnt umber pardon me burnt sienna underpainting here is a picture of the original picture that I'm working from of course I won't do it all the same I don't want to um, that's just me you can do whatever you like I've also got this source over here for the driftwood uh, this is an earlier painting I did of driftwood and I think it's quite quite a nice one actually so that's what I'm trying to pattern things off of you can see up here I'm just gonna sit down here so you can right at my easel there we go on my saddle now you can see my waterfalls they aren't quite finished yet but you can see that they have been made from ultramarine blue burnt umber and Venetian Venetian uh, brown or it's Venetian red uh, the the um, driftwood itself you can see in some areas I haven't gotten the rest of the colors on so they are in ultramarine blue and a little bits of black in some spots um, now I mixed the black okay I mixed the black from the uh, um, burnt umber and the blue so the, the the black is consistent with the colors on the painting or in the painting now I haven't of course completed this section here but you can see where I'm going with it now um, I think it's going to work out very well the water is different in the picture as well um, I've 
there's a little bit more of it in this picture than there is in the original. And uh, t this afternoon, I'll probably work on this area up here. Now, also, I have used Indian yellow, one of my favorite colors. And I've also mixed in gold in the Indian yellow and the um, Venetian red up in here so that uh, it, it'll probably have a little bit of a glow in certain lights. Now I've got some fat over lean problems up here and you can see some areas are flat. Um, I will fix that when I varnish it. Um, the varnish will give it an even look. So that's what I've been up to today in this first week of isolation and uh, I hope you are all home enjoying being with your family and doing things that we don't get to do often enough these days that's family time thanks for now bye bye